Business iCards The iCard Express allows you to design various types of iCards. Let's create the iCard for a business organization. Here we will add the organization first. After you click the Add button, the window you will see is the Add Organization window. Here in this window, you will need to add the information related to the organization for which you are creating this job. Let's start with the company information. Here, add the name of the company. Add the complete address of the company here. All the information you are adding appears here on the iCard. Add email, phone number and website of the company here. Now after adding basic information of the company, let's decide the fields you want to include in the iCard. First select the type of the organization you are creating. Now as we need to design iCards for a business organization, here we select the business type. The type of the organization you select here results in different types of fields for the iCard. Here you can see the fields that are going to be included in the iCard. These fields can be customized and you can manage them according to your need. Click on the Customize option to customize the ID fields. A window called Business Field appears and in this window you will need to select the fields related to the employee of the business. You can see two types of fields here. That's the fixed fields and the optional fields. The fixed fields are those which are fixed in all ID cards. All the settings in these fixed fields have been done already to save your time and NG. Now if you don't want to include any field on an ID card, turn the field off by simply unchecking the circle. Here, let's have a look at the optional fields and how they can be used. Some sample optional fields have already been defined for your reference, like department, designation, etc. These fields are according to the organization type you selected. You can alter these fields and also add new fields. You can add up to 10 optional fields to any organization. You can also turn off unwanted fields by unchecking the circle. Here, we'll edit an optional field to let you know about the process. The department field here has been chosen for editing. Here, the type of fields needs to be selected. And in this drop-down menu, you can see various types. The text type refers to the blank field. While adding iCard data, you get a blank space where you can type data. List type refers to the list of the options to be chosen from. The date field helps you enter dates, whereas the time field helps you enter time. The multi-line field can be added from text multi-line option. Here, as we have a list of options, that is the department, so we've chosen the list option. The space here will allow you to define the list. We will type software development, put a comma here, and while typing, testing, and then put a comma. Now we need to put a comma between two items. After adding all the options, you can save the customization with the Save button. Now if you've added any field, then it will appear here. Now we can define the ID numbering. You can either generate ID numbering automatically, or you can enter the data manually. Now if you've chosen the manual option, you'll be able to define each ID card number manually while entering the iCard data. Now if you want to generate ID numbers automatically, select the automatic option. Here you'll get three boxes to define the ID card number format. The prefix of the suffix fields are fixed fields, whereas the starts with the field is a variable field. The fixed field remains fixed in all iCards and the variable field increases with every iCard you generate. We will learn this process with an example. Suppose the ID card number pattern is DG underscore 1001 underscore 2015. Now in this example, DG underscore and underscore 2015 is fixed and 1001 will increase with every new iCard. The first ID number will generate is DG underscore 1001 underscore 2015. The next will be DG underscore 1002 underscore 2015 and so on. Now in the same way you can define the ID card number pattern. Now moving ahead let's add the company logo here which can be placed in design. Click on the add button, browse from the browse button and give the path of the folder where the logo has been saved. All the files in the selected folder will be displayed here. Select the logo image and click on the OK button. 
and the logo will appear here. You can remove the logo by clicking on the remove icon and add a new logo. The name and designation of the authorized signatory can be added from here. The add signature in the same way can be added on the company logo. We will set the bytecode parameters for the iCard. Here in the drop down menu, you will see all the fixed and the option fields as defined for the iCard. Select the fields you want to use in the barcode. Here, for example, the ID is selected as ID number is required in barcode. Below the field, you will see another drop down menu. Here are the types of barcodes. You can see the length of the selected barcode type and the characters set here. Now here, please select the proper barcode type according to your field. As for this organization, the ID number is 12 characters and it contains alphabets and numbers. Both we need to create code 39. Now if you are selecting fields for address, you can go on to another barcode type having more character length. Now if you are selecting the mobile number field, you can select the EAN 13 here as it supports only numeric data. Next, to choose on the fields for QR code, you can set the selected fields for the QR code and you can change the selection. Click on the customize option. Uncheck the circle of the fields you don't want to include in the QR code and click on the OK button. Now here, you can select the design you want for business iCards. Click on the select button and you will see the design for iCards. Below the designs, you can manage the filters and have more precise view of the designs. Select the desired design and click on the OK button and you will see a preview of the selected design here. Now say if you want to edit this design, click on the edit button. Once all the parameters are set, you can save the organization with the save button. You will see the company is added in the list. Now here you can edit the organization with the edit option and delete the unwanted organization permanently with the delete button. Open the organization for the iCard data assigning with the help of the open button and you'll be redirected to the data window. Here you can import the Excel sheet to bring in the data. Before importing the Excel sheet, please make sure you've saved it in Excel 2007 or 2003 workbook format. Now please do not keep any row blank in the Excel sheet between two datas. Select all the blank rows from the assigned Excel sheet. Delete all the blank rows from the assigned Excel sheet. Now, as your Excel sheet is ready, use the Save As function to save it the Excel 97 to 2003 workbook format. Open the file in the background and in ID Card Express, click on the Import Excel Sheet button. A window will appear. By clicking on the Info button, you get the guidelines of how to make the sheet perfect for smooth data importing. Import the Excel sheet by browsing. The Excel sheet selected will be imported. Here, in the Sheet drop-down menu, you will see all the sheets available in your Excel file. Select the sheet in which the data exists. You will see that each box can be filled with a certain term. Now let's define the data. Here, at the top of each box, you can see a field name. There is one box for each field you can define at the time of adding the organization. Like here is the written ID, photo, name, etc. As here, ID should be filled. We will go on to the Excel sheet and check the column name of ID column. Here, it's A. So we will write A. Next, we will define the photos. Now we have the photo names with the extensions defined in column G. So, we write here G. Here, from the Path button, you can define the path of the photo folder. Please remember that the image name defined here for the photo will be matched with the photos in the folder according to the photos imported. For each field, you'll need to define the column name here, in which the data is filled in the Excel sheet. You will mark other entries too. Names is in column B, so it's written here as B. The same procedure is carried out in other fields too. The fields which you do not have any data in your Excel sheet, please delete the column name from the field. Check that data has been imported properly, we will select any name. You can see all the data from the selected names is highlighted. 
and this way you can check accuracy of the imported data before actually designing the iCard. Now if your Excel sheet has headers like ID, name, etc, then check this checkbox to ignore header rows while importing data. Now after all the fields are marked, you can import data with the import button. We will see that all the data fields have been added by clicking on any data. You can check the details. Now if you want to edit any data, just click on it and edit the details. You can adjust the face area according to the guidelines. Save the changes with the Save button and the details will be updated in the list. Now select the iCard you want to process. Now if you select all the iCard data with the help of the Select All button. Go on to the next window by clicking on the iCard button and you will see a drop down menu here. Adjust the design if needed. Click on the T icon to expand the editing panel. You can edit the title field and also add clip arts and effects from this panel. To print the iCard in a package, select the package option. You can select all the iCards by using the select all option. Go on to the next window. Here you see a variety of packages to print iCards. Here a drop down menu is provided for which you can select the package size. Suppose your printer prints pages of a 12 by 18 size, then select 12 by 18 size. All the package information under selected page size will be displayed here. The page size is displayed here and the print size is displayed here. The number in the bracket indicates the total number of prints on a single package. You can build your own package by clicking on New button. You can also edit the package with the Edit button and also delete unwanted package with the help of the Delete button. Now here, select the iCard that you want to print. Now say if you want to print cut marks on the package, you can check the Print Cut Marks checkbox. The file name can also be printed by checking the Print File Name checkbox. Selecting the Crop option will crop and adjust the iCards in the printing area, whereas selecting the Fit option will fit the iCards in the selected area. You can generate the JPG or PDF file of the created package according to your printer. Now if you want a JPG output, select the JPG option. Give the package a name and also define the path for saving the package. Here you can optimize file size as per your requirement. Save the package with the OK button. Now say if your printer supports only PDF printing, Select the PDF option and get the PDF of the iCard in the selected package by defining the saving path. You can directly print the iCards in the package by clicking on the print button.